in the new applications and new about the 15 um, resubmissions, but also within those 15, uh, a few folks did uh, submit new applications, so it came out to a total of 25 mm -hmm. yeah, um, selections out of and I would say something I thought was really cool was if you remember the last BSEP meeting, um, there was a young man who asked a lot of questions, um, and um, both El Weatherway and Marquisha spent time with him afterwards. His name's Whitten, and Patrick Nolan, a BSEP member, reached out and had a conversation with him afterwards, and Whitten ended up deciding to apply some options. Awesome, awesome. Here's my question I was thinking about this. So, you know, I'm always looking for alternate school. Why was the process, why does the process close? Why can't it be an ongoing thing? Like, hey, okay. I'm in Portland and I'm right. Right. Well, there's this urgency right now in terms of our agreement with the DOJ uh, to, to actually make sure we have an adequate pool. We live the alternates more quickly than was expected. And then the PSEP decided to adopt the suggestion, actually from Philip, um, to increase the number of, of people in the pool. So that brought it to nine. Um, it's important that the, you know, there's some really key pieces that PSEP needs to benchmarks we need to be meeting. And one of them is having an adequate pool of alternates. Right. And so the fact that it drained kind of more quickly than we expected created a need to get it done. But I do think that, there, that in the future, my recommendation would be that there's a process set up so that people can apply at any time right. and maybe quarterly or you know, every six months, there's some selection, there's some, you know, selection process um, so that if, when there are alternate spots, those are really, you know, replenished. Yeah. I think if it's open all the time, it might get the sense of, like, they just kind of get buried in there, but if there's, like, an opening period, maybe it'll, like, yeah. increase the urgency of, like, oh, it's not open all the time, so I think that's... Maybe once it's done, yeah, I think once we get through this, it would be great to like, you know, do what worked and what we do differently and how do we make it sustainable for the future. Um, uh, my understanding is that uh, there's, you know, there was a matrix that was used to rank at um, applications the first time. That still seems like it was developed at the beginning. That looks like it worked still. And um, Brad has been putting together the selection committee. Um, and I think he had communicated about the pieces of folks to put on that committee. Um, and he has several confirmations. He's just been waiting to make sure what we're doing next. So we just were communicating about that today. So um, Friday, he's going to be uh, coming back with like exactly the next steps um, of how to get through those and figure out what Nicole about the interviews and, you know, like, and how to involve these that more fully in the process. Great. Did I ever get anything about you? We should definitely follow up with that. Well, the goal is to have nine consistently. Um, so there's some conversation about so then do we need 12? So, so we do have nine, so we can have No, no, we're in the process. Yeah, we only we, yeah, we went through the first pool. So and there was not a specific nine, number assigned. I think there's seven because we still have one adult alternate and we actually need some new alternates. And I think we're going to use a separate process for that recruitment. And there's none in that new batch of you. Oh. Did you see any of you? Um, I could see, but I didn't look at the age. Um, I was more focused on uh, the names and the new applicants for this initiative. But I can double check and focus on like, the age groups that I actually yeah. see. Okay. Okay, I'm wondering if that's one of the things that you subcommittee maybe mm -hmm. could have a discussion about the most effective ways to do that yeah. outreach, and especially if they're talking about connecting, and you're talking about connecting with um, the schools, that might be a good opportunity to uh, recruit, you know, or to recruit volunteers. As right. Well. Absolutely. Okay. Um, that is. It for what we have on the steering committee agenda. I know everybody took their time to come up here though, so I am open to any other comments, thoughts, discussions that anybody would like as far as anything related to PISA, uh, the work we're going to be doing in the future. Um, <laughs> any questions regarding that?
Yes, yeah. yeah. okay, right. So maybe that would be a good place to just start and recruit it for those students who were involved in about policing issues. Mm -hmm. um, Thank you. 